What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you're on a great day, right now I'm heading to Scott's house. He owns a GT500 Super Snake. I'm super excited about this because I can try on his drag radials for the GT500. Where do you think they're gonna fit, Scott? I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> As you can see, the brake caliper is right there and there's like nothing. The gap is so small between the brake caliper and the wheel itself. So hopefully the Super Snake wheels that come with the 2014 um, GT500 Super Snake does fit on this car, but I don't know what to think. So here's the issue. It's exactly as what we thought it would be. The, the Brembo brake caliper, it sticks way too far outwards and it's hitting the spokes of the wheel right here. And also the wheel studs, they're not very long. So they're more inwards and the Brembo brake caliper is more outwards. As you can see right here, the Brembo brake caliper goes out over two and a half inches. And then the wheel studs themselves are only one and a half inches long. You're going to need really special wheels for the new GT500. These 20 inch wheels for the Super Snake simply aren't going to work. And that's to be expected because you can't just take any wheel, any 20 inch wheel, and put it on the GT500. And over here is Scott's car. He, he does like the new GT500. We went to the racetrack recently, gave him a few laps on Willow Springs Raceway. <laughs> just so much fun. And these two cars are just so different, right? This has got way more horsepower, 1,000 horsepower versus 760. But again, this is manual, the last of the manual GT500s, and that's DCT. He does have a few aftermarket pieces here and there like that larger front splitter. It looks really mean in person. You modified the hood on this car, didn't you? I did, I did. Stock form. I don't know if you guys saw this, but it's not functional, is it? Not stock, no, it's not. <laughs> and you actually brought that up yeah. to me and uh, it really made me mad a little bit. So I had that fixed. It's this piece right here, guys. This main intake right here. It just, it's actually, it's closed. It's closed inside and I didn't know that. And neither did he, but I can see it. I can see it right here, that how it's opened up. Seems like the, the intake temperatures are a lot lower, more consistently. So the heat soak isn't as bad with a supercharger. And then also it seems like the downforce, you can feel a difference when you get like up to like 100 and plus. It feels like the, the car plants more and you have more airflow coming out through the hood and over the car. So the whole thing just feels like it squats and gets more stable. A bit off topic, but do you guys want to see the coolest doors ever on a pickup truck? He, he's got gold wing doors on his GMC Denali. What do people think when they see this? A lot of people don't know what to think, man. They're just like, wait, what? What's happening right now? You should run these two cars together on the drag strip, right? With We're you trying. and your Nitos. Now yeah. I'll be having mine by then. And so, so next week we could see, you know, which one you're, you can out accelerate me. I know that for a fact, <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe my automatic car with all the nannies is going to beat basically the old school last of the last of the manual GT 500. You know, it should be, um, you might, you might consistently <laughs> get, Oh yeah. I can see that. Yeah. But consistently. If, if a good run uh, happens, the old girl hooks up just right. <laughs> it, might, it should be, it, that should be a lot of fun. Okay guys, so here we are at American's Tire. We've got the, the drag radials from Scott's car. He's letting us use it for a day. Nito's 315-3520. So it should fit this wheel perfectly. We're finally gonna find out how fast this car will be with street legal drag tires. I don't know if I got a 10.6 in the quarter mile with these Sport 4S tires, not drag tires whatsoever. I'm really excited to find out how fast it's gonna be with stickier compound. Hopefully we come across some Dodge Hellcats or even a Demon or a Red Eye so we can try to get a race in together. So, quick update. The job is almost done. We almost have the drag radials on the 20 inch. Uh, we also come with the GT500. We're just so close. And after this, it's um, straight to Irwindale. It should be like an hour and a half, two hours away. We should be arriving once the sun goes down. So it should be a lot of fun. Okay guys, we just filled up the car with three quarters of a tank. It already feels weird to me. First off, I hear much more noise because with the, the PS4s, it has like a sound deadening feature inside the tire itself. It's like a foam um, trim line in the middle. It's pretty cool seeing it in person. I haven't really seen many tires that have that. I know it's been out for some time now. And plus now I, I removed the back carpet. I just feel like I hear much more noises in this thing. Well, looking at the tires, it shows much more rubber that's actually meeting the ground compared to the PS4s 
there's not that much rubber there because there's so many different patterns on it. With this, it's a completely different story. It's like seeing Cup 2s versus a PS4s. It's that kind of difference. I'm convinced now that Jim Owens was completely right. This is the best Shelby you could buy because it just dawned on me a few minutes ago. I was at Button Willow Raceway two days ago and now I'm going to the drag strip. And it's not like the car is super fast on the track and then at the drag strip it's not fast at all. Well, it's fast, but like not crazy fast. That's not the case. This car is fast at the drag strip and the racetrack. Okay guys, here we are at Irwindale. First time ever being out here. And you can see the smoke right now flying around. $30. Yeah. Sounds good. There you go. Okay, thank you. And here we are. We are almost to the front, the staging area. This is going to be the first pass with uh, drag tires. We're running 16 cold. After the burnout, should be, I think, maybe 18, 19, maybe even higher than that. That's what I've been recommended to do. So I'm not really the drag focused kind of guy. But I I'm excited, a bit nervous as well, because we have so many people out here today. If I mess up, it's going to be caught on video and <laughs> that's not going to be good. So I am going to launch at max RPM because it's taken so long to stage. And it's already 9 o'clock. They close at 10. So I might as well just uh, make use of all the time I have and just uh, just go for it. If I feel like it's going to get loose and it just feels different to me, I'll let off throttle. But um, I'm just going to play it out and, and see what happens. Okay guys, here we go, on track. Let's go in drag mode. So go through the water box, then do it. Okay, got it. Yep. We're gonna go to the left lane. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> a bit of wheel spin right there. Um, 3.7 seconds, zero to 60 on that. Um, the, the tires got a bit hotter. Thank you. Spinning a lot out there. Your one number are you? You're 63.90, so you were uh, six one one eight nine. One eight. Oh yeah, that's. It's not that good. If you would have got a one, yeah. What piece size do you have the wheels at? Or the Seventeen. Seventeen? Yeah. Burn them up. Burn them. Burn them a lot more. A next lot time, more. Next time you go, do a bigger okay. burnout, and then let go of the brake and slide out of the out of okay. the burnout. Okay. Do I need to turn off advanced track for that too? Yeah. If you turn advanced track off, it'll let you do it. Then you gotta turn it back on to use, to use lost control. Stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, you gotta turn do the burnout yeah. with it off, and then once you come out of the burnout, get ready for your stage, turn it back off, and then put the lost control. So much, so much to do. Should I try it that way? Yeah, you can if you can do it, yeah. I'm gonna read the owner's manual. <laughs> yeah. So I'm putting the car in drag mode right now. It wasn't drag mode when I did that first uh, run. But I'm turning off all traction control nannies for that initial burnout. I'm gonna ride out the burnout and then I'm gonna turn it back on and then just do the launch control. Advanced track off. Okay, here we go. Hey, um, YouTube channel. Oh, I don't nice to meet memory, you. But, uh, what is it? Oh, no, no, no. Speed phenom. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep, yeah. it it's all I good. Oh, it's all good. Dude, I love your car. First Thank you, I appreciate it. Second. This is my second pass actually oh, wow. going down. First pass didn't really hit up the tires that well, I guess, but 
Oh, we're gonna see what happens this time. Though. Yeah, yeah, I'll do a better burnout this time. First round was not good, I'll be honest. Got slower time than I got with my stock PS4s. So, round two with a longer burnout. I think your results should be a bit better. It feels very slippery out, but I think it's just because maybe tires weren't exactly warmed up and there's a lot of people going down right now. So uh, hopefully, hopefully this time get a better pass. When he tells you to go, then you go. But when he goes like this, that means stay there. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay. All right, okay, so stay in the burnout out long to get the tires hot. Man, I love it. I love this car. You should get one. Bro, <laughs> the lowest markup I found was 20 grand. I did the launch the second run and it said clutch over temperature the rpm was maxed out but it hooked very well and then i took off and then it just killed all power and it said clutch over temperature so i followed the owner's manual i'm going to read it to you right now it says note at a drag strip with a water box it is recommended that traction control is disengaged prior to entering the water box which i did this allows for a pull away which that's what i was doing out of the water box after the tires get heated. Traction control must be re-engaged to have launch control capability at the start line. I turned off traction control, I did the burnout, and then I kept going with it to roll it out, and then I stopped after the, uh, the start line, then I rolled back and I turned back on traction control. It just said clutch over temperature. That's all it said, no gauges at like engine light or anything like that it just said clutch over temperature i hit okay i drove to the end of the drag strip and it seemed like the gauge went away and it was driving fine so i'm not sure what happened i did one pass waited about 20 more minutes to do my second pass the launch felt good though that launch the last one when it did that over temp it felt pretty good. I think it was gonna be a good pass. I really do. It was interesting what happened. I'm glad that it did happen in the sense that I'm learning more and more about this car. And the more I learn about it this early, I can share with all of you guys who are spending the $80,000 for your base 500 or 100K for your track pack so that you guys can be aware of what could happen. Okay, and I found the, uh, the error message in the owner's manual. It says, clutch over temperature. This message indicates one or both clutches are overheating. It says, there's two reasons why this is going to be happening. First of which is slow uphill driving with no throttle, so creeping, creeping with the DCT. And then the other one, which I think applies to us, is launch control at an RPM set speed higher than optimal for the current conditions. The best mitigation is to either lower the RPM set speed for launch control maneuvers or not holding the RPM set speed as long in preparation for launch control. So I guess in the future, I can't hold the, the RPM launch control for that long and I have to work my way up with the, uh, the RPM set speed or basically the RPM that it's set when you launch the car. What do you guys think about that? I didn't realize that we'd have an issue here for just you know two passes. Actually thinking about it, could this be why the DCT is set to just 3,200 RPM, I think that's what it is. It could be a bit higher, like 3,300, but could that be why it's limited there and it won't go any higher? I guess we're just gonna find out with people getting their cars and modding it. Can it take the 8,000 RPMs? I've seen that mod so far, and also the increased horsepower. Can the car handle it for launching? And plus, if you did raise the launch control, would that damage the DCT or would that error message come up a lot?
and would foot brake in the car to get to a higher RPM for launching, would that also result in the same code? I'm still really impressed with this car. I really do like this car. Getting low sevens for spinning a lot during my first pass. That's, that's awesome. That's really good. This is one of those vehicles that when you nail the hook, which it's pretty easy to nail, I think, it just accelerates like a rocket. It doesn't feel like it weighs 4,000 plus pounds. The entire thing just goes. So to everyone who is here being super nice to me, I want to give you a huge thank you. It was awesome to meet all of you. I had a ton of fun in this happening. Ah, who cares, really? I had a good time, and it was great meeting you guys, too. So I just, I really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. And subscribe for much more great Shelly videos coming your way. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below what you think caused that error message, the clutch to be over temperature. I'll see all of you in the next episode.